Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it is the end of the month which means it is time for the show us your sheet load slash happy mail video. I hope you'll stick around and see what beautiful creations came in my P.O. box this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. At the end of the month, I always like to stop by and share a look at all of the beautiful cards I received in my P.O. Box for the month. This used to be a strictly show us your sheet load video, but I also sometimes get cards just because. So today I'll be sharing those with you, and if you're interested in seeing what subscribers have created here on YouTube and over on Instagram with the latest sheet load of cards, I will have links to those searches in that description box below. I know that they would love for you to stop by and see what they've created. Now, if you're ever interested in showing us your sheet load, I do have a video linked in the description box with all of those guidelines. You can do a video here on YouTube or a post over on Instagram or send in a card for the end of the month video. I always love to see what you're creating. Don't forget, I'll be back tomorrow with the newest sheet load of cards, so make sure that if you have not already clicked on that notification bell, you do that so you're the first to be notified of that video. Why don't we go ahead and see what came in my P.O. Box. Before we get to the mail, I did want to stop by with a special channel member shout out. I would like to say thank you and welcome to my newest paper trimmer level member, Sandy T. Thank you so much for joining membership. Thank you as well to all of my channel members for your continued support. And if you're ever interested in finding out more about the perks of channel membership, make sure to check out the link in the description box. First up today is a card from Cheryl S. of Utah, and her envelope was so cute that I had to share that as well. It matched the card inside perfectly with the B theme, and Cheryl, I have to know, did you make that envelope yourself? This card is from Beth J. in Florida, and it is her first submission for a Show Us Your Sheet Load. I love the 4th of July theme and how she has used that rounded edge on the left of her sentiment. Thank you, Beth. Also from Florida is this card from Debbie V. She has used the May 2022 Sheet Load for a winter-themed card. I just love the rich colors. Carol from Indiana also used the May 2022 sheet load. She has created a thank you card and I just love how that sending part of her sentiment is popped up. Thank you, Carol. Carmen B. from Colorado sent in this card also from May 2022. I love those cute little florals, the bright colors, and how part of her sentiment, the Just For You, was actually cut out of the fishtail banner and popped up. Thank you, Carmen. Vicki R. from Oklahoma used May 2022 for this adorable gnome card. If you look really closely, you might notice that that hat is paper pieced. So cute. Janet C. from Illinois is up next, and I just love all the detail on her card using May 2022. Those flowers on the sentiment strip are actually a die cut, and behind it she has some gold embossed vellum. Thank you so much, Janet. Charlene of North Carolina has dubbed herself a newbie to card making. I think she did a wonderful job on this card using the April 2022 sheet load of cards. One great thing about sheet load is no matter your level of crafting ability, it is for you. Sharon M. of Indiana sent in this very cute example using May 2022. I love those fruits and that gorgeous coordinating envelope. Thank you, Sharon. 
Get ready to be wowed by this card from Christina M. of Illinois. After she had made some cards using the April 2022 sheet load, which was a mini slimline, she was also inspired by the November 2019 sheet load of cards. Check out what happens when you open up her card. Isn't that so fun? Here up on screen now are instructions for cutting if you would like to pause here and try one of these on your own. Thank you so much, Christina. Yvonne K. of Wisconsin sent in an April 2022 sheet load example. I love the florals on her card and the fun oval shapes that she used for her sentiment. Wanda S. of Canada sent in this lovely card. I am loving the color palettes and those fun butterflies. Thank you, Wanda. Be prepared to be wowed once again. Tammy P. from Pennsylvania used the April 2022 sheet load for inspiration for her card today. But check it out. That quokka is actually a belly band holding the card together. And when you open it up, you have lots of space to write. This was an awesome idea. Thank you so much for sharing, Tammy. Katie D. from Canada sent in two cards, both using April 2022 sheet load of cards. The one on the left is the standard landscape, and then she mentioned how she accidentally cut the papers incorrectly and got that fun portrait version over on the right. These next two cards are from Toby, who you might also know as Biddy Penny here on YouTube. On the left was a card that she created using my Abstract Botanicals bundle from Not Too Shabby, and on the right was just a beautiful card and note for me. If you don't already subscribe to her channel, I will have it linked in the description box below. She is full of wonderful ideas and I know that you will love being a subscriber and getting to know her better. Also, while you're there, check out one of her latest videos, which is about a card drive for Uvalde, Texas. Another thing, if you didn't already know it, Toby was our latest guest on Oh So Inspired Live. Lisa and I had a blast crafting with her. If you weren't able to catch us live, I do have the replay video linked in that description box below. Michelle L. of New Jersey is another new submitter to show us your sheet load. She has sent in two cards this month. On the right is a fun example using May 2022, and on the left she has used April 2022. I love on that card how it looks all like official and formal, and then that sentiment. Love it. Thank you so much, Michelle. Lori K. from Minnesota sent in three cards. On the left are two examples using April. I am loving that big lemon. And over on the right is one using May. I love the combination of the floral and the wood grain. Iona S. from Washington has been a busy crafter this past month. She sent in three cards this month, March, April, and May of 2022. Thank you so much, Iona. I received two packages from my crafty Irish friends in May, and boy were they chock full of inspiration. First up is Rita G, and this set of cards has a nautical theme. She had been on a cruise and was inspired to use that as her inspiration. In the second package were three fun cards inspired by May 2022. Thank you so much, Rita. The theme of Trish D's first package had to be adorable little animals. Check out these focal points on the May 2022 examples. In the second envelope were four cards using April, as well as this cute little kitty paper and another postcard. I am really enjoying adding these to my postcard wall. Thank you so much! Melanie B. from Australia sent me a package this month. Not only did she include three fabulous examples of various sheet loads on the right, 
but on the left was a card with a little note for me and she gifted me with these Spellbinders snowflake dies. She thought I might get more use out of them than she would where she lives. And we definitely get snow here, so they will be put to good use. Thank you so much, Melanie. Karen C. of Virginia sent in three cards this month. No matter whether or not I do the sheet load rewind, I know I can always count on her to participate. On the left is May 2020, in the center is May 2021, and then over on the right is an example using May 2022. You might also spy some of her sentiments are from that stamp set that I created with Not Too Shabby. Thank you so much, Karen. I received two packages from Joan O of Denmark. In the first one, she used the May 2022 sheet load for this set of more masculine themed cards. And I love how that little one in the middle that contained a note for me has a sticker that reads, they call me crafty. I might need some more of those stickers. And her second package, which will be the final one that I received this month, blew me away. You know that I love rainbows and check out these cards and envelopes that she made. Oh my goodness, Joan, I love them so much. And I do want to ask, the slimline envelope, was that a die that you have? So neat. Thank you so much. Once again, I am blown away by your creativity and generosity. Thank you to everyone who took the time to send in a card over the last month. If you enjoyed seeing these cards today, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. Until the next one, which is a brand new sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.